Hey guys, right, science. This is Miss Satterly. I'm going to go over the different phases of the moon. So your assignment yesterday was to finish the homework that I had posted before we had our uh, snow break. Uh, so now we're going to move on to the next topic. So we're going to talk about the different phases of the moon. There are eight different phases. And I'm going to show you how to draw those phases and also how to identify them. But before we do that, we need to learn some terminology. So there's probably some terminology for moons that you are familiar with. First one is a full moon. So we're going to see full moon. Full moon is when the entire surface is visible. There's also a slideshow that goes with this as well that has uh, pictures of the phases of the moon, of the actual moon. So the whole reason the moon is visible is because it reflects light off, uh, off of its surface that comes in from the sun. So when we look at the moon, the moon is phase locked, which means we always see the same side. But because it rotates around our planet and we rotate around the sun, you're going to see different phases of the moon based on the rotation and revolution of Earth. Another one you may have heard of is called a new moon. A new moon is when um, none of the moon is visible. So it just looks black in the sky. You might see a very faint uh, outline or you may not see it at all. Another term you may have heard before is quarter, first quarter, third quarter. But there are different shapes. I'm going to call them shapes of the moon. Crescent is a shape. If you guys have heard of a crescent moon before, that's when it's just a thin slice of moon. It kind of looks like a fingernail. Then the next shape is actually a quarter, and this is when the moon is actually half visible. And then a term that you've probably never heard of is gibbous, and this is when you have three-fourths of the moon is visible. Kind of looks like a uh, football shape. Some other terms that we need to know are going to be um, size. I'll call them, I'll give it a size category. And that includes the word waning and waxing. Waning is when something is uh, gets smaller in size or shrinking. And then waxing is when something is going to get bigger or growing is what that word means. We're also going to use the terms first and, and third when going over our different moon phases. So we're going to start off at the top here. I, do, I did include this if you guys are uh, remote learners. If you want to print one out so you have, uh, you can make this diagram so you have it as a visual, you can. This is going to be the new moon. New moon, which means, if we go back to our paper here, none of the moon is visible. So I'm going to color in my moon. I'm going to use the black is going to be the unlit portion of the moon. And then the white paper is going to be the illuminated or light part of the moon. Okay, there we go. Now, we're going to move across. And it's in front of our moon here, and it's uncovering itself. So I'm going to use this cap here. So here's a new moon. I'm starting to pull this away 
And instead of this being dark, it's now starting to be illuminated. So I'm going to draw this same shape over here. All right. This side of the moon is still being, being covered up, which means I'm going to color in this side. The light is going to start on the right hand side. Now we need to name this shape here. Well, let's go back to our paper that I have here. So what kind of shape is that? That looks like a crescent. It's a thin slice of moon. So I'm going to put crescent, but it, there are different types of crescent moons. We have two, waxing and waning. Since the shape is growing, because when I go over here, if I have this, I'm still pulling it across. Now half of my moon is visible. So this means this is a waxing crescent. It's growing into the full moon. I'm going to keep the dark side on the same side. So that's a way to remember which one is which. This is how it's filled in. Okay, good. That wasn't drawn very well, but that's okay. So this is a quarter moon. And it is our first quarter. So to tell the difference between a first quarter and third quarter, you need to remember what side the light is on. So I'm still moving across. Here I am, moving, moving. So now I have that much visible. So my crescent shape is going to be drawn on this side, except now it's going to be filled in. So we're almost to our fully visible moon. So this is, if we look back at our paper here, gibbous, three-fourths of the moon is visible. This is a gibbous, and we are still growing. We're still growing into the full moon. So this is going to be called the waxing gibbous. After waxing gibbous, we have our full moon. And now we're starting to go back the other way. So it's all the way covered. And now it's actually coming back in from the other side to recover the moon. So this is going to be drawn this way. And we're going to fill in this side. So the part that is visible, this is the waning gibbous because we're starting to get smaller. Gibbous leads into a quarter moon. So now my light part is on this side. So this is filled in and this is our third quarter. After the third quarter here, still moving across where all we have is another crescent but since it's shrinking this time, shrinking back into the new moon, we call this the waning crescent. So these are the eight different phases of the moon. You need to be able to identify these eight phases. Uh, they will be on the homework. You need to understand what the words waxing and waning mean and what the words gibbous and crescent mean. So again, I would recommend printing this paper out and drawing this so you have it as a reference for your notes whenever you do your assignment. Here are the slides that go with the moon phases. So first off, I'm going to explain what a phase is. A phase is a different shape of the moon that's visible from Earth. The moon itself is what we call luminous. A luminous object is not something that produces its own light but it is something that lights up. It's illuminated by the sun. A phase is going to depend on how much sunlit portion is facing Earth. And this change is caused by the change in the position of the sun, the moon, and Earth. So you can see down at the bottom, you have all of your different phases. And they're actually starting. So this is our waxing crescent, first quarter, Waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, third quarter, and waning crescent.
moon phases have to do with the lunar cycle. A uh, lunar cycle is 29.5 days. Sometimes you might see it presented as 28 days. And this is how long it takes for the moon to completely fill its uh, full cycle of phases. So the 30 days that we have on our months almost matches with the phases of the moon. A cycle goes from new moon to new moon. That's one complete lunar cycle. So full moon is actually halfway through a lunar cycle. New moon is when the sunlit side faces away from Earth. It's not visible. A new moon is what actually can cause a solar eclipse. Waning crescent, I'm sorry, waxing crescent is our first shape. This is when the moon is waxing or glowing. Uh, waxing or growing, sorry. Then we have first quarter. The moon has completed one quarter of its cycle, which is why we call it first quarter. After that, the moon is going to continue to grow into our gibbous shape, so waxing gibbous, until eventually, eventually the entire moon itself is uh, visible from Earth, and that is a full moon. The waning gibbous is when the moon is waning or shrinking. And then we have third quarter, when the moon has completed three quarters of its cycle, ending with waning crescent, where the moon continues to shrink until yet again we have our new moon. So those are the eight different phases of the moon. There um, is a homework assignment that I need you guys to complete. It's going to have questions about the different phases of the moon. You'll have to identify the different phases. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Have a wonderful day. Bye.